may all our efforts benefit all beings. May all our efforts benefit. In answer to the question of uh, <clears throat> what was significant about building Skyroots. Skyroots was the first building that we designed and built ourselves. And it was therefore our first green building. And we collaborated with some amazing partners in Invermere and Kimberly to create this green building, which is using a technology called annualized geosolar, which uses a combination of solar energy and geothermal to keep the building at a pretty steady 50 degrees Fahrenheit, is it? 15 Celsius? About 15 degrees Celsius all year round. And it works and it's awesome. And it was so great to start creating in accordance with our values. We have a sustainability mandate. And so the green building was in great line with that. So and true. It feels so good to really show up in the world in alignment with our values. It does. It does. Well, in addition to that, uh, it's tough. It's tough times out there in the world, and I think probably it's going to get tougher. So one of the things we're doing with Clear Sky, the, the organization, and Planet Dharma, the teaching arm is we're trying to create a new monastery and a new monastery with a new vision about what a monastery looks like. Uh, Sensei here came up with the idea of monary, half monk, half nun. But Monvent. Yeah, Monvent, half monastery, half convent, where the idea is that you have jobs and careers and maybe even relationships, but your professional dedication as a monk or a nun, a monvent or mon nun, anyway, is the Dharma and that it becomes a refuge place in the same way that the monasteries in med medieval times, Middle Ages in Europe were uh, refuges when the world was sort of falling apart. And I expect that will serve a similar function here for the next few hundred years, hopefully, and that people can come and study and train in a monastic environment, nunnery environment, monnery environment, monvent. And uh, so the, the building is a necessary adjunct to make that happen and, and it'll be a support for further uh, growth and unfoldment for that kind of purpose in the future. Well, another reason that Skyroots was so significant is that it was really challenging to build. We had a awesome team of different Sangha members doing different things and then consulting with Capel and myself and other Sangha members. We were traveling a lot of the time that Skyroots was being built, so we were doing a lot of it by email, and uh, other Sangha members were also in different locations, so a, a lot of the communication was happening online. And these were really challenging conditions, and it, it was really forced us, required us, called on us to fall back on our practice in order to overcome a lot of the logistical challenges and the interpersonal challenges that inevitably come up in a project of this magnitude. And I think that's a really important part of developing a contemporary monvent is it's not just about having the know-how with the building expertise and the uh, environmental technology, but it's also about having the personal and spiritual and psychological resources to be able to do it together. And Skyroots was so great for that and has really helped us with, with all of our subsequent projects as we grow into those. Hi there, I'm Karen, and my role for the Skyroots project was I was director of fund development for Skyroots. Um, my name is Duncan. Um, I was the board chair at the time we were building Skyroots, and I was also the, the virtual project manager. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what made Skyroots significant for me personally. Um, and for Clear Sky as an organization. We had our teachers in a very small, tiny room, and we wanted to build a structure, build a house for them, for the teachers and the teachings, and for long-term staff. And uh, we felt this was really important because we wouldn't be here, none of this would be here, uh, but for the grace of our teachers and but for the grace of the teachings that, that we have, um, uh, that's created enormous amounts of loving kindness and compassion for us and for all beings who come here. So we feel very much that it was very much taking care of the teachers and the teachings, uh, which is really good for the organization and the organization and everything else sort of followed from that. So it was like putting 
the horse in front of the cart. Looking back, I don't think it was clear at the time, but for me, it was really significant in the sense it was really the beginning of a, of a long term residential community here. It was a real shift because once we finished Sky Roots, not long after that, the teachers came and, and made their base here. Mm -hmm. And then now we have a you know very thriving community of long term residents and visitors and so on. So it really made a shift at some point to a kind of monastic modern modern monastic community mm -hmm. and I think the building of Sky Roots was the was that pivot point and then we um, we really tried to build it following our quadruple bottom line that uh, Cadacency our chief visionary officer uh, started us off with so we were trying to be financial uh, social environmental and spiritual it was also the origin of our our karma yoga program because as we set off to build it we realized well how are we gonna build this this thing in budget um, so we, we had a very generous uh, builder, um, Kim Lendlet, who, who donated a lot of time, um, uh, very generously, very skillful builder. So we also needed a team to help us. So we actually started our Karma Yoga program at that time. So it became a learning experience of different people coming to the center, learning with Kim, learning with the community. And a, a lot of, a lot of um, Sky Roots was built for, from Karma Yoga. Um, we had contractors for, for particular um, times, but yeah, a lot just done by everybody pitching in. Mm -hmm. uh, we really tried to be local, so we worked a lot with, we built lots of local networks. We worked with uh, people as close as we could, materials as close as we could. So for example, the wood trim all around Sky Roots, there were a couple of amazing local foresters who came up with a little portable milling machine to minimize all the damage and so on. And they, there was a couple of trees we did have to take down, but they milled them on the spot. They were dried on the spot and then became the wood trim. Mm -hmm. So things like this, I, I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, we really tried to work with with beauty so we also tried to make it inspiring and beautiful and it was just a very collaborative experience you know all of what duncan said needs money right and so i had a little team as director of fund development and i worked with natasha van bentham who is an international development and outreach practitioner and john monroe who's one of the co-founding members of clear sky and together as a team um is we actually like did about 50 interviews and we interviewed all of the leadership, the board, um, previous donors, prospect donors, and just the community at large. And, um, you know, the whole thing of generosity and, and, and putting your money towards a, you know, something that you really value um, is such tremendously a beautiful thing in itself. And, and so I got the privilege and the honor of working with these two beautiful beings and working with the community as a, as a large and this very big, large collaborative project. Another aspect, of course, is that the nature of a, what are we calling it, Monvent, is human relations and community. Now, Monvents, nunneries, mon monasteries in the past have separated the genders, have s separated the behavior of the individual into the ritual or the practice of the, of the discipline, say a Catholic church or a Tibetan uh, temple. They have their routines. Um, but we're also talking about developing communities in the new sense where it's not just a spiritual bottom line, but a quadruple bottom line. But the other aspect of it is working together in community is not something we know how to do. We weren't raised in community. We weren't raised with communication skills. We were raised in nuclear families and uh, get ahead and win and be victorious. And the idea of working and living together in a community is a huge challenge for the Western ego. So one of the great advantages of this environment, including Sky Roots and the rest of the property and the organizations is really learning how to meet what it means to live in community when none of us have actually ever done it. We've lived in near communities where you go home and you can close the door and you can get your refuge behind your closed door. But in this situation, we're together, other than when we're sleeping, we're, <laughs> we're together most of the time. So it's a, it's a new challenge for the Mon Vent and the Mon Nunk, the Monk Nun, the Nung Monk, New Monk. Nuns. Muns, uh, to figure it out. So it's been fun going through the struggles of that process because we each run into our own particular prejudices based on how we were brought up. It's it's not fun, it's torture, but it's fun afterwards. I don't know, That's I think it's fun during, it's kind of, bring on the chaos, let's play with it. That's that. right.